And for the past two weeks, Farmers for Free Trade, a bipartisan coalition supported by ag commodity groups from across the agricultural industry, has been on an 11-state, 3,500-mile RV tour to support the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. MTN's Russell Nemitz rode along as the Motorcade for Trade tour made one of its final stops in Billings on Friday. Shares more in this morning's Ag Network report. Trade is a very important business tool for Montana farmers and ranchers. And two of our biggest trading partners are Canada and Mexico. Former U.S. Ambassador to China Max Bacchus is a founder and co-chair of Farmers for Free Trade and says it's time to set partisan politics aside and do what's right for America's agriculture industry. A bushel of barley isn't a Republican bushel, it's not a Democratic bushel. You know, a steer, a heifer, it's not a... Republican steer, <laughs> it's a, it's a, or a Democrat, it's, it's, a, it's, it's nonpartisan. <laughs> it's crazy how partisan politics sometimes gets in the way. It should not at all, um, because we're all Americans. We're trying to you know, make sure our country prospers, and it's, 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 just, and it's part of this trip, because it's bipartisan, is to keep partisan politics out of it and just focus on getting the job done. Michelle Erickson-Jones farms near Broadview and is also the past president of the Montana Grain Growers Association. She says the new USMCA is important for farmers like her. It works on the Canadian grade grading issue that they treat wheat the same, um, whether it's U.S. origin or Canadian origin, and that's definitely important for some of our farmers on the high line. And, and it's just important overall is that Mexico is our number one barley market. Mexico is the U.S.'s number one meat, wheat market. And so it just has some huge impacts to agriculture. And, and it's important that we, you know, get it done, get it finalized and inject some stability on the markets. The USMCA is the renegotiated trade deal between the three countries meant to replace NAFTA, which Bacchus says U.S. farmers and ranchers have done extremely well with. U.S. agriculture exports to Mexico and to Canada uh, since I think 2003, you know, during NAFTA, have increased 70 percent. American agriculture exports to those two countries have increased 70 percent. And add to that, to Montana ag exports, I think they're about $720 million, Montana ag exports, uh, uh, to, uh, to Mexico and to Canada. And a new report out by the International Trade Commission only reinforces the significance of passing the new USMCA, saying passage would mean an increase of nearly $2.2 billion in U.S. agricultural exports. Reporting from the Erickson Farm near Broadview, Montana, Russell Nimitz, MTN News. Now, Farmers for Free Trade's top priority is for Congress to pass the USMCA as lawmakers return back to Washington this week following their Easter recess.